Wow, yeah, 20 dislikes before the duration of the video, where it was at 12 and then went to 10. You're just doing it because you're jealous of me, and you're doing it so much that uh, your eyes are brown from all the shit you talk. Uh, you're jealous because of my age and what I know and I'm all about proving things and all about like I'm not gonna dox people unless they dox me and you know I'll stand up to you and no matter what you say is disparaging I'm gonna block you down and brick you on it so <clears throat> the article that I'm gonna read now this is not a very long article I'm gonna of course provide the link uh, it's called a look at your F fertility timeline. A look at your fertility timeline, uh, medically reviewed by Deborah Rose Wilson, PhD, MSN, RN, IBCLC, AHN slash BC, CHT on October 8, 2018, written by Kimberly Holland. <clears throat> so, woman scientist, woman writer, talking about female fertility from 2018. That all makes sense. And it's all pretty clear and concurrent stuff, basically saying that uh, women between 18 and 24 is the best time to have children. If anybody would know, it'd be scientists and journos, especially if they're women. Uh, duh. Uh, I'll provide the link. Many females are born with all the immature egg follicles they'll ever need, about 1 to 2 million. Only about 400,000 of those eggs remain at the start of menstruation, which occurs around age 12. With each period, several hundred eggs are lost. Only the healthiest follicles will become mature eggs. The body breaks down and absorbs the rest. Males, on the other hand, continue to create new sperm for most of their adult lives. As the body ages, it has fewer follicles. That means the follicles have fewer opportunities to create healthy, strong eggs for fertilization. In the teenage years, the supply is robust, but by the late 30s and 40s, the supply is waning. However, that's the age when more and more people are attempting to start a family. Yeah, late 30s. It's really bad. Today, the average age of giving birth for the first time is 26.6 years old, which is also bad. That age has been steadily increasing in recent years as parenthood is postponed, which is like due to the career-seeking stuff, where women want to do everything. See, that's like the bitch about feminism, is like, women are out there trying to just like be everything, when they're perfectly good enough to just do one or two things, Women are like, there's so many women that are like trying to be better than men when they should just be at the equal level of men. Men will take breaks and be lazy sometimes. Women need to just take breaks and be lazy sometimes. <clears throat> Let's take a look at how the decision to wait can affect your family. Ages 18 to 24. This is what I've been saying for years. If ever there was a best age to procreate purely from a physical standpoint, this would be it. Your body's strongest ovarian follicles are the first to mature into eggs for ovulation, so the eggs you produce in your younger years are more likely to be high quality. Having a child at this age will cut the risk for birth defects, chromosomal problems, and some fertility issues. So that's why I've been saying 18 to 24, because it makes the most logical sense. Of course, while it's less risky to have children when you're 18 to 24, it's not without risk. The fertility chance, not also known as fecundity rate, will wax and wane throughout your life. It's at its strongest in this younger age period. Between ages 20 and 30, the natural fertility rate each month is about 25%. That dips to below 10% after age 35. Birth rates are dropping for females ages 18 to 24. Many are foregoing families for careers until they're in their 30s or 40s, which is bad, clearly from the evidence of people out there in public just acting doofy and stupid but it's also the uh, younger males I might read that Cambridge study it's not, it doesn't look good for like the younger males or the older women when it comes to having kids ages 25 to 30 
With each passing year, your chance of naturally conceiving a child fails, or falls. Uh, but in your late 20s, your chance of getting pregnant without intervention remains st fairly steady. In fact, couples under age 30 who are otherwise healthy are able to conceive in their first three months of trying 40 to 60 percent of the time, estimates the Eunice Kennedy Shriver National Institute of Child Health and Human Development, if anybody would know. After age 30, the chances of getting pregnant begin to decrease every year. If you haven't started a family yet, don't worry, your body still has a generous supply of eggs to provide when the time is right. But if you're trying to conceive and have been unsuccessful for at least three months, talk with your doctor. While most couples at this age will be able to have a baby without intervention, some guidance may be helpful. Ages 31 to 35. In your early 30s, the chances you'll be able to have a baby are still high. You still have a lot of high quality eggs to offer, but your odds will start to decline steadily at this age. Your fecundity rate decreases gradually until age 32. At 37, it drops dramatically. In your 30s, you're about half as fertile as you are in your early 20s or 18. Does this mean you can't have children in your 30s? Absolutely not. In fact, one in five females nationwide has their first child after 35, which is bad for the uh, offspring. You need to mention that more. Notes to National Institutes of Health. However, one in three couples in their 30s will experience some type of infertility issue. And I've posted the Healthline female fertility timeline several times just so you're aware. Facebook, Twitter, you know, whatever. It's on Instagram. The greatest reduction in fertility is in the late 30s and early 40s. The chances of female in their late 30s will be able to conceive spontaneously is about half that of a female in their early 20s. A 2003 review notes 60% of couples in this age range will be able to conceive naturally within a year of starting to try, while 85% will be able to conceive within two years. If you want to know about men, re watch like the last four or five videos that I posted on this channel. Because it's really looking like uh, Generation X men need to be with Generation Z women for the uh, babies to be the most healthy at this point in time. Of course, it'll be like Millennials Alpha or whatever it will be next. It'll be like uh, Zoomers with Generation whatever uh, people not born yet that won't be born for like another 15 years would be. If Zoomers held, hold their horses and waited, they would be kind of in Generation Gamma, Beta Gamma, Alpha Beta Gamma, whatever. I hope they think of better names than this. However, at this age, the risk of chromosomal issues with eggs are higher. The risks increase with every additional year. That means the risk of miscarriage or abnormal pregnancy are higher. This fall in fertility rates happens to coincide with the decade of life when more people than ever are trying to get pregnant. So that doesn't make sense. You're trying to be all career woman, that's fine, but have your kids early and just get a babysitter or something, like my mom did. She still worked when she was 24. You don't have to like, she worked her ass off too. She sold real estate when she was like a young mom, like 24, 25, 26, when my little brother was born. Uh, like these 35 year old women, this is why we need to fix the economy. So people don't have to wait till they're 35 to have kids because it's causing uh, anapoloid chromosomal damage. And clearly the people out there are nuts and stupid. Uh, from 2011 to 2016, the birth rate for females ages 35 to 39 rose each year, falling 1% in 2017, reports the Centers for Disease Control and prevention, the CDC, of course, who would know but them? For females over 39, the birth rate is even higher. Ages 41 to 45 plus. According to the CDC, birth rates for ages 40 to 44 increased 2% between 2016 and 2017. The number of births for females uh, 45 to 49 rose 3% in the same time frame. In fact, the fastest growing rates of Childbirth are in females 40 and older. It's important to keep in mind, however, that while more individuals are giving birth at these ages, 
the overall percentage of births to older parents is still much lower than in younger ones. That's due in part because it's tougher to get pregnant if you're over 40. By this age, your body is preparing for menopause. Your ovaries have likely exhausted their follicles or are nearing the end of, your of their supply. With each passing cycle, more will disappear. By the time you reach your early 50s, you'll have almost no follicles remaining. Babies born from people in this age range also at greater risk for a number of birth defects and pregnancy complications. So those complications begin at the age of 25, though. They start to show up at the age of 25. Miscarriage and chromosomal abnormalities increase significantly during this period of life. Older age also increases the risk of complications for the parent, including diabetes, hypertension, and uh, preeclampsia, uh, which I'm not familiar with what that is. Takeaway, today people are willing to Today, people are waiting longer to start families. Because of the advancements in fertility treatments, such as in vitro fertilization, these individuals often do succeed at getting pregnant at this later stage. While your natural window gradually closes with your age, they should say with women. Uh, fertility treatments may be able to extend your window and even make your chances of successful conception higher. Uh, picture of the good doctor there. Kimberly Holland is a health and lifestyle writer, or the writer, not the doctor. Kimberly Holland is a health and lifestyle writer and editor based in Birmingham, Alabama. When not organizing her books by color, Holland enjoys traveling and toying with new kitchen gadgets and exploring small town restaurants and stores. So the reason why you hate me is because you're jealous. You can find me on Instagram, uh, LucasWarner79. And uh, I will provide the link to the article that I just uh, read on female fertility. Look at the ones on male fertility and telomeres and compare the two. Like peanut butter and jelly we'd be. Yeah, I see that smart.